Yarnivores and Spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a continuation of the Ami Groomy Crocheted Bunny. Mm -hmm. And today we are going to be covering the ears and the tail. All right, so first things first with round one. And we are going to start with the ear. And of course, you need to make two of these naturally. And so we're going to start with our slip knot. And a chaining up of two. And then into that first chain, five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Alrighty. And we shall proceed to round two. Okay, round two. And in case you haven't noticed, this is pretty much the beginning for most amigurumi type things where you start off small and you work your way up big with increases. So one, two, three, four, five. So into that first single crochet that we did right there, we need two single crochets into each stitch. So that's one and two in that same stitch and two in the same in the next stitch and so on and so forth until we reach 10. So we've got two and then into the next stitch three and four into the next stitch five and six into the next stitch seven and eight into the next stitch nine and ten okay so by the way if if you hear my tummy gurgling i'm sorry i i just had a little snack i'm sorry so let's see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay good so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sew in my little tail here and put my stitch marker in and we shall proceed to round three okay round three just like we have been doing previously uh, we went from five stitches up to 10 stitches. Now, yep, we need 15. So it's going to be two in the first, one in the second, and then two and one and two and one, all the way around until we reach 15 stitches. So one and two together, one and two in that same stitch, and then three separate. And then one and two in the same stitch, three separate. One and two in the same stitch, and three separate. One and two in the same stitch three separate, one and two in the same stitch and three separate. And then of course, move your stitch marker up. There we go. And that is the end of round three. Okay, round four. So we are going to still be increasing. However, because we want the ear shape to taper differently than the other shapes, we're going to be having it grow a little bit differently. So uh, instead of continuing the increase this round, round four, just one stitch per stitch, no increasing, no decreasing, just one stitch per stitch. And we're going to be doing this every other round for a bit. I'll let you know when. And so right now, just one stitch per stitch. 
And then the next round, we're going to continue increasing. So these rounds, really quite simple, just one stitch per stitch, nothing schmancy. And there you go. That is round four. So whenever I say to do a round where it's just one stitch per stitch, that is exactly what you do. Because we need it to start cupping like this, but not too extreme. You know, it creates a really nice taper for the ear. And actually I have one right here for you. So we're starting at this end and it's a slow, gradual taper. And yes, by the way, the ears, you do not stuff. You could add a little bit of stuffing, but you really don't need to um, because it's a double thickness of stitching. So works out just fine, not stuffed. And besides, it's nice and flippy floppy. All right, so onwards to round five. Okay, so for round five, we're going to be increasing again, and we're going to be going up to a total of 20 stitches, and that is in increments of four. So in the first stitch, two stitches, so we've got one and two, then three alone, and four alone. One, and two in that same stitch, then three alone, and four alone, one, and two in the same stitch, three alone, four alone, one, and two in the same stitch, three alone, four alone, one and two in the same stitch, three alone, and four alone. Okay, and then of course move your stitch marker up. And then for round six, one stitch per stitch all the way around, and I will meet back up with you for round seven. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, for round seven, we're going to increase from 20 stitches up to 25 stitches. And for round six, like I said, I just did one stitch per stitch. So round seven, two stitches into the first stitch, one and two together, then Three alone, four alone, and five alone. One and two together, then three alone, four alone, and five alone. One and two together. Three alone, four alone, five alone, one and two together, then three alone, four alone, five alone, but they have each other. They're not completely alone. One and two together, and then three four, and five. Good. Okay. Then move your marker up. Okay. And then for round eight, one stitch per stitch all the way around, and I will meet back up with you for round nine. Okay. Round nine. I'm going to be increasing again. And this time it's in increments of six because we now are going from 25 to 30 stitches. So into the first stitch, one and two together, then three, 
four, five, and six. One and two together. And then three, four, five, and six. One and two together. And then three, four, five, six, one and two together. Three, four, five, six, one and two together. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, then move your stitch marker up. And for round 10, one stitch in each stitch all the way around, and I will meet back up with you for round 11. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, round 11 is going to be the last of our increase rounds. So, going to start right in. First stitch, two stitches in the first stitch, as per usual. One and two. And then three alone, four alone, five alone, six alone, and seven alone. And that is because we're working in increments of seven because seven times five is 35, which is where we need to be. Mm -hmm. So one and two together. And then three, four, five, six, and seven. One and two together. two together. There we go. And then three, four, five, six, and seven. One and two together. And then three, four, five, six, and seven, one and two together, then three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, very good. Okay, now move the stitch marker up once again. Okay, so now we need a bit of a, a straightaway, if you will. And so it's going to be rounds 12 through 16. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's the next five rounds. No increases, no decreases, just one stitch per stitch all the way around rounds 12 through 16. The next five rounds. Okay. And then when you are ready for round 17. I'll meet back up with you. Back in a flash. Okay, round 17. We're going to start decreasing. So because we have 35 stitches at the moment, we have to account for all seven stitches in the increments, right? So going to start by decreasing. So pull up the front loop. I always work with the, the front loops when doing amigurumi and my decreasing. So pull up the, the front loop and then pull up the front loop of the next stitch and then stitch those two together. So that's one and two, then three by itself and four and five, six and seven. Okay, decrease again, pull up the front loop Pull up the front loop 
and then pull through all three. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Pull up the front loop, pull up the front loop, pull through all three. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Pull up the front loop, pull up the front loop, pull through all three. That's two, and three, four, five, six, and seven. Pull up the front loop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Pull up the front loop. There we go. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Good. Okay. Then, of course, pull up your stitch marker like so. And then rounds, let me see, 18, 19, and 20. The next three rounds, it's going to be just one stitch per stitch all the way around for the next three rounds. And then I will meet back up with you for round 21. Okay, round 21, we're going to be decreasing again, this time in increments of six. So, and uh, I'm going to start by through the front loop and through the front loop. That's one and two, then three, four, five, six, through the front loop through the front loop. That's two, three, four, five, six, through the front loop, through the front loop. That's two, three, four, five, six, through the front loop, through the front loop, and that's two, three, four, five, six, through the front loop, through the front loop, that's two, three, four, five, and Six. Very good. Okay. Then, of course, move your stitch marker up as per usual. Got it caught on one of my plies there. That's not a big deal. There we go. Okay. So then, after round 21, rounds 22, 23, and 24, the next three rounds, one stitch per stitch all the way around for the next three rounds, and I will meet back up with you for round 25. Okay. Okay, round 25. Yep, we got another decrease round. All right, and it's going to be in increments of five. So through the front loop, and then through the front loop of the next, and all through, that's two, then three, and four, and five. Okay, through the front loop, and through the front loop, and three, four, and five through the front loop, 
through the front loop. Three, four, and five through the front loop, through the front loop, and three, four, five. Okay, one more. Through the front loop, through the front loop, and then three, four, and five. Okay, so that's 25 stitches down to 20, and four rounds, 26, 27, and 28, you guessed it, one stitch per stitch all the way around for the next three rounds, and I will meet back up with you for round 29. Okay. Okay, round 29. Yep, more decreasing. Mm hmm yep. All right, so through the front loop, through the front loop, and since we have 20 stitches, it's going to be in increments of four. So we've got one and two right here. And then three and four. Through the front loop. Through the front loop. Three and four. Okay. Through the front loop, through the front loop, three and four, through the front loop, through the front loop, three and four. One more to go. It's a little tricky with my camera set up here, but I am trying. All right, and this, this ear is nice and firm. All right, so through the front loop, through the front loop, and then three and four. Great, okay, so after pulling our stitch marker up, Da, 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 dum. Okay, so for the next three rounds, 30, 31, and 32, yep, next three rounds, just one stitch per stitch all the way around, and I will meet back up with you for round 33. All right, round 33. We are in the home stretch, my dears. All right, so for round 33. Yep, we have to decrease again. So through the front loop, through the front loop. Okay, that's two. And in the next one makes three. Through the front loop. Through the front loop. That's two. And then one more makes three through the front loop, through the front loop. That's two. And one more makes three through the front loop. Through the front loop. That's two. Sorry. <laughs> A little bit fiddly. And eh. there we go. And three. Sorry. The way I have my camera set up, it makes it 
a little difficult to have things going this way towards the camera because I've got my phone in a little tripod. That's why you're probably thinking, why is he having such an issue? All right, then last but not least, through the front loop. Through the front loop. Through all three. That makes two. And then that last stitch. Yep. There you go. Okay. And then, yep, pull your marker up like so. And then just one more round, round 34. Just do one stitch in each stitch all the way around. And then all you have to do is cut your yarn. Leave yourself a nice long tail though, of course. Cut your yarn, pull the loop through, and you have yourself an ear. Mm-hmm, yep. And be sure to make two of them. Alrighty, otherwise it'll be hard of hearing. All right, and now this is all of the yarn that I have left over of one skein of the Red Heart Super Saver. So I'm going to have to break into another one so that I can do the tail. Alrighty, be right back. All right, so now we're going to do the last piece of the bunny, the tail. And we're going to start, of course, with round one. And as per usual, make your slip knot and chain up two. Boom, bada boom. And then into that first chain, five single crochets. One, two, three four, and five. And that's round one. Okay, round two. Probably familiar with this by now. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. All right, so into that first stitch, two single crochets into that stitch and every other stitch all the way around. So we've got one, and two in that first stitch. And then in the next stitch, we've got three and four into the next stitch, five and six into the next, seven and eight into the next, nine and ten. Just two stitches in each stitch. Nice and simple, just as we've been doing for most every piece so far. Um, so as per usual, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew in my tail and get my scrap yarn ready. All right, be right back. Okay, round three. Yep, we are going to increase again. And I really like this particular design of the tail because it's not a pom-pom. Yes, you could add a pom-pom, but they have a tendency of falling apart. And especially if this is going to get a lot of uh, wear and tear, this is the route to go. It's going to be a nice ball shape uh, with a, an open side so that you can add the stuffing later. So for round three, Three, we're going to do two in the first stitch and then one in the next because we're only increasing every other stitch. So in the first one, we've got one and two and then three by itself. And then one and two together. And then three by itself. And one and two together. And then three by itself, one and two together, and three by itself, one and two together, and three by itself. And then of course, move your stitch marker up. There we go. 
and on to round four. Okay, so for round four, we're going to be working in increments of four, going from 15 stitches up to 20 stitches. So in the first stitch, two stitches, the next two stitches, leave them by themselves. So in the first stitch, we've got one and two together, and then three alone and four alone. One and two together, three alone, and four alone, one, and two together, three alone, four alone, one, and two together, three alone, four alone, one and two together, three alone, and four alone. All right, move your stitch marker up. And then we've got one more increase round. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, round five, it's the last increase round for the tail. And we're going to be working in increments of five. First stitch, got two stitches, and then three, four, and five by themselves. So let's do it to it. So first stitch, we've got one and two together. And then three, four, and five. One and two together. And then three, four, five, here we go. One and two together. And three, four, and five. One and two together. And three four, and five. One and two together. Three, four, and five. Very good. Okay. So, yep, going to move my stitch marker up. And now, in the next two rounds, no increasing, no decreasing, just one stitch per stitch all the way around for rounds six and seven. Okay, and then I'll meet back up with you so that we can start doing the decreasing. See you in a bit. Okay, round eight, we're going to start decreasing. And because we left off at increments of five, we have to start at increments of five. So that being said, through the front loop, through the front loop, pull through all three, that's two, then three, four, and whoa, five, then through the front loop, through the front loop, that's two, three, four, and five through the front loop, through the front loop, pull through all three, that's two, three, four, five, through the front loop, through the front loop, three, four, Five, through the front loop, through the front loop, Oop. three, come on, four, and five. 
great. Okay, going to move my marker up once again. And we shall continue on to round nine. Okay, so the last round we went in increments of five, this round increments of four. So going in through the front loop, through the front loop, that's two, three, and four through the front loop, through the front loop. Whoa, caught my tail there. Three and four through the front loop, through the front loop, three and four through the front loop, through the front loop, and three and four through the front loop, through the front loop, and three and four. All right, very good. Okay, so then, of course, pull your little tail of a scrap up. Do, 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 do. And then, last but not least, round 10. Quite simply, just one stitch per stitch all the way around. And what I like about this is that you really don't have to stuff as you go. You can stuff it after we're finished here, no problem. Also, the reason why I left a fairly big opening for the tail is because that way there is more surface area to stitch to the bottom of the bunny body because if you attached just a small point it would be flip-flopping all the way around and it might get ripped off and we don't want that to happen mm -mm, no okay so then you can move your tail up but it's really not necessary because we're just going to pull this out anyway Boop. and Got my scissors here. And of course, yes, you want to leave yourself a nice long tail because we're going to end up sewing this to the bunny body. Mm -hmm. And just pull out your, your loop. Boom. Okay. And so, yeah, we're going to stuff this and then we're going to sew it to the bunny body. And there you go. You have yourself a tail. So that being said, my dears, in the next part of this series, we're going to go into the assembly of the bunny, how to attach various things. Now, yeah, it could seem very straightforward and so forth, but you never know. You might need, you know, a little you know, advice on how to stitch the things together so that they are secure. And of course, placement uh, so that everything you know, fits together nicely, and so that the cardigan will fit nicely, at, you know, as well, and we will be getting to that as well, as well. Yes. So, uh, as always, I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, please give a little thumbs up button down below. I appreciate your appreciation ever so much. Thank you. And thank you to all the lovely, lovely comments you've all been leaving. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that you're enjoying this process as much as I am. Thank you so very much for that. So until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and stay stitching. And please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.